Okay guys, welcome back to part two of the last episode. We need to go in right now. We're not wasting any time. We're about to make sure it goes down. And that's a promise. Shit. He's gonna pay for those murders. I don't give a shit if someone ordered him to do it. He killed them. Crooked man's the one you want. But of course, you're too much of an idiot to see that. Or maybe you just like me too much to let me go. Please, Sheriff. Haven't you done enough? Look at him. He's dying. Vivian, you don't know what you're doing. You can't seriously want to protect this guy. You know what he did. I'm not going anywhere. Oh my it isn't his fault. He's God. Faith and Lily, he's the reason they're dead. Look, I know he made a few mistakes. We all Stockholm have. syndrome what? right here. He made sure they couldn't talk with those damn ribbons, and then he killed them. You're wearing one yourself. Doesn't that bother you even a little knowing that man of murdered? Of course it does. Those girls. So it's all my fucking fault then. I you didn't fucking mean it. Yeah. Uh, you're gonna throw me to the fucking wolf too. You know I didn't have a goddamn choice. What the fuck? I did what I had to. You can't fucking blame me for that. Look. You never so have you to do anything. Do told. You didn't have to do anything. Like hell I didn't. Look. Faith and the others tried to pull a run on us. And as you can imagine, the crooked man wasn't too thrilled. But of course, the big boss didn't want to get his fucking hands dirty. So he told me to take care of it. You think I don't know what that means? Either I do what he says or I'm the one getting dealt with. So I fucking killed him. And I'd do it again. All I needed to hear. it's not my fault. <laughs> you think that'll help? Keep blaming other people for your actions, dude. I don't care. End, have you? Still the same old fucking moron. Let's go. Let me punch him again. This is fun. Go ahead and kill me then. But it won't bring back Lily or Faith. It won't free your friend Narissa. And I'm just the sap taking the fall for the whole thing. I'm gonna get the other guy later. Deal with you first. It's so easy being you. Just come in here and blame me for all this shit. Job's done, right? Not exactly. He's the bad guy. It's all his fucking. Not fault. all of it, but this part, yes. <sighs> But what was I supposed to do? You don't know what it's like, Bigby. You murdered Faith and Lily. You put those fucking ribbons around their necks. You had the power to let them go, but you chose not to. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. If I freed them... What would you have me do? Kill her? Jordy, don't. It was them or Vivian. So you tell me, if free Lily meant she had to die, you still think I had a fucking choice? What are you doing? I told you! Wait, how is she involved in all this? This is the original. The girl with the ribbon. I'm sure you've heard the stories. Couldn't take it off, couldn't talk about it. She used her little purple ribbon to make more of them. To keep our girls quiet. To ensure absolute discretion. You promised you wouldn't. All that magic is connected to this little thing. You remove hers, and the spell's broken. They're all free. But you know what happens to her? The same thing that happened to Faith. So don't you come in here and tell me I fucked up. What the hell, George? You killed two people to save one. We were one. supposed to look out for each other. I trusted you. You can't fucking blame me. You're not innocent here either. Wait, those were your ribbons? You're in on this? I thought you cared about them. I do. Of course I do. You have to understand, nobody was supposed to die. Well, we this place. It, it was just a stupid idea, a gimmick. Discretion is our guarantee. That's how it started, anyway. This was supposed to be our place. We were going to be in charge for once, and nobody would try to control us or use us. That was the point. Then the crooked man showed up, and everything just turned to shit. So, do you get it now? Why I couldn't just. <clears throat> If you still think it's so fucking simple, then you do it. Go right ahead. Kill her then. What are you doing? Break the spell. Save the fucking day. Stop it. I told you. Sometimes all your options are shit. What the fuck are you supposed to do then? I'm not playing this game, Georgie. I won't kill her. 
Don't talk about me like I'm not even here. Please. You think this is hard for you? My life is such a fucking burden on your conscience. Don't I get a say? It's my life. Like it was either of yours to give up in the first place. I wasn't really... Just shut up. You're right. It's your life. I know what I've done. Wait. I'm sick of everyone thinking that they can just do what they want with my life. I thought it would be different here. But it's all the fucking same. Vivian, I didn't mean... Do you think I wanted to be this person? What I did to Faith and Lily? To all of them. Vivian, wait. I... Every day I have to look Gwen and Hans in the eye and pretend I don't care. I have to forget what I've done to them. What I took away from them. I look at Nerissa and I hate myself. Vivian! I can't pretend anymore. What are you doing? Vivian! Don't! Goodbye, Vivian! Georgie. No! It needed to be done. Fuck! No, 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 no! I would have done it, but I didn't want to look like an Why asshole. Why'd you have to do that, Vivian? Vivian! Are you happy now? Is this what you wanted? Vivian! I didn't fucking mean it! I was just... <sighs> Oh. oh, fuck! Get up. Get up. Don't think so, Bigby. <gasps> I'm gonna die here. I think we both know that. Just make sure you give the crooked man the same treatment when you find him. Don't worry about that. Really fuck him up for me, all right? For both of us. Don't worry about the crooked man. <sighs> Old foundry by the river, all right? Shepherd Metalworks. He'll be there. Fucking asshole. Do you want to finish me off now? <laughs> or do you plan to kick me around a little first? Rip my limbs off one by one? That's what you want to do, right? Well, whatever it is, just get it over with. I'm not sticking around for much longer. You deserve worse than this, Georgie. I suppose you're right. No more games, all right? We both know how this ends. <laughs> Just make it quick. I know what I did. <laughs> you don't deserve that. Let's not draw this out. I'm leaving you to rot. Yeah. Suffer for all I give a fuck, honestly. What? You're just gonna leave me here? Yup. You'll have plenty of time to think about what you've done. Fuck you! Bye bye, buddy. Piece of shit. The game want me to have some sympathy for him or empathy, whatever? Like, nah, I'm good. <laughs> he was a piece of shit the whole time. I mean, I'm just saying, man. He he really didn't deserve. I should have heard him more, but I don't think that's Big B. But yeah, he he deserved pain and like torture, agonizing, unbearable. All of that good stuff, you know? Well, good stuff, bad stuff. Still, the point is... We're off to find the Crooked Man now. Now, he was in the limo. Bloody Mary escorted him. So I assume we're gonna have to deal with her too. We know that's his limo. No need to waste any time on it. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Of course. We gotta, we gotta break that shit. Very good. So yeah, we're taking him in for trial. He ordered the execution of those two women. I understand that, but we... We got the uh, the killer the way we needed to. Now we have to deal with the boss man. So this is where they've been sending these. 
Oh, thank you. Convenient light is convenient. Bigby Wolf. Bloody Mary. The big bad wolf. <laughs> Here we go. You used to be something. I still am something, bitch. Wow. They've been keeping tabs on us all for a while. They used to fear you. Good to know. They'd hide anywhere their small shittering bodies would fit. Ugh. Which is worse, a bottle of bleach or the big torture wheel of torment? You decide. Silver bullets. Silver. The big bad wolf. That's how you know we're about to die. What the fucking? I can't do anything. It's about time you showed up. I had to take care of some things first. Little errand boy. That's nice. My own errand. I don't run errands for others. I see you made it here in one piece. I do apologize, but I have some business to attend to. I leave you in the capable hands of my associate. Come find me when you finish, dear. Oh, I will. This won't take long. You talk into yeah, the wrong deer. Now, don't make this worse. Doesn't want to play. I'm sure you will persuade him. <laughs> <laughs> wow. What a man. Damn it. <laughs> Stealing punches while my back is turned. Didn't your mother ever teach you to fight proper? I was trying to get every advantage I could. You're a tough opponent. It's respect. God damn it. She's gone. <laughs> Well, I'm really glad someone's playing Rainbow Six Siege right now. That, uh, that makes me feel very happy for them. This bitch is psycho! Where the fuck- Hell, I'm going down here. Misdirection bullshit. You ain't tricking me. You're not gonna trick me. Detective Bigby Wolf is gonna figure it out. Well, we already figured everything out, but... Where you're hiding. At least. Okay, here we go. Moving forward, baby. Dun dun. Okay. <laughs> okay. There's a jump scare in my The Wolf Among Us game. What is this? Oh! There's two jump scares in my The Wolf Among Us game. Jesus. Okay, go forward. Bigby, get out of here. Okay, I dodged it. Come on, come on. My reaction time is so fast. Where are you? Come on and face me. Like a bloody Mary. Oh my god, that's some creepy shit right there. I'm a little turned on, but more scared. More scared than anything. Okay. Yeah, let's uh Oh Jesus! Blood. Lots of blood. Come on, Bigby. Why do I even bother clicking? She's just beating the shit out of me. Oh, dodge. Q, Q, Q. Okay, okay. We're gonna get this bitch off of us. We're gonna take her down. We're gonna take the crooked man in for his proper trial. Okay. Or we're gonna fall to the ground. Uh, there we go. Big Bad Wolf's out to play. Got those red baby eyes, baby. Come on. I don't know what baby eye baby babies mean, but we have them. Okay, where you at, where you at? Let's go. A boss battle is about to ensue. 
she's fast. Oh, or there's th her 30, 4, 50. Or there's a hundred Bloody Marys and we're going to die. Either way, I'm very scared. Which bitch is the real one? That one. Well, maybe. Oh! Okay. Awesome fight scene. Really awesome fight scene. <laughs> oh, jeez! Get the fuck off me! Oh, shit! And they're literally made of uh, glass, by the way, so this hurts. God, he's getting slashed up. You can't focus on just one, man. Come on! We gotta... Oh, come on. What can we do? I feel like her powers are a lot stronger than mine. I feel like... Her ability is so much better! We're dead! Okay, we're dead! I'm not gonna die this way. Oh my god. Whoa, what the hell? Woo! No way. This is our final form. The big bad wolf. This is the actual big bad wolf. Oh my god, this is so fucking cool. Oh my god. Holy shit. Bitch put a pole in me. So I bite her head off. Yup, that seems fair. That's the real one. That's the real one. We're we gonna get her. Oh, come on. Hey! I'm about to... You already know what's about... Oh, oh my god! Oh, it's a fake. Big B, come on. Oh, just swipe that bitch. Swipe left on that bitch. Swipe right on that bitch. It's Tinder. Big B, what are we gonna do? Oh shit, we're gonna huff, we're gonna puff, and we're gonna blow all the Bloody Marys away! Oh my god, this is so amazing! This is the fucking coolest scene in the game. Holy shit! There she is, the real one. Okay, we gotta get her, Big B. Oh, she's, a, she's about to pull out some final shit right here. Final move. Fatality. Oh, shit. <gasps> no, 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 don't stab me in the eye! Oh. Wow. The big bad wolf. Now it's time to deal with the Crooked Man. It's time to take the Crooked Man down, Bigby. You gotta have a little bit of fight left in ya. Oh my god. That was incredible. And there he is. A silver bullet. Bigby, you look tired. I feel like this guy's gonna be one good reason not to rip you apart. The right smartest now. character in the game. I feel Mr. like he is. No, you're not. <gasps> I won't miss next time. Okay, okay, fair enough. Fair enough, bro, hombre. Before you do anything with me, I thought I should point out a few things. Snow White wants you to bring you back to the woodlands, doesn't she? And that's what. I Perhaps. Ah. Uh, you plan to do what she says, don't you? Fine. That's right. What happens to you once you get there is a different story. I'm not quite finished. You will bring me back alive. Look, all I ask for is the chance to speak for myself in front of the community. That's fair. And I'm sure Miss White would agree that I should be given a fair trial. There is no proof against him yet. Agree on that. I will have a trial. The whole town will be calling for your execution. Why would you want me to bring you back there? Why don't you let me worry about that? Look, there's no reason for us to be at each other's throats here. That's funny, coming from a guy pointing a gun at my head. This is just a precaution. I'm sure you understand. 
I'm no murderer, Mr. Wolf. I didn't kill those women. And I think you know that. I what do. I'm asking for is a chance to explain my But then what story. are you? If you're not a killer, then what are you? I'm a businessman, not a killer. There's still a lot you have to answer for. Exactly. And I will, as long as you agree to my terms. Because I'm not saying another word until I'm brought before the community. It's fair. It's fair enough. It's not. The point. But just so we're clear, it's not an outlandish you request. Mind and decide to do something stupid. You won't get your answers, but you will have a difficult time explaining yourself to Miss White and the rest of this miserable town. You're often reckless, and I worry you're not thinking of them. Let me ask you an honest question: What do you really care about here? Justice. This is concerned, I mean. Do you really want the truth? Or do you just want to look like the hero? Because those are two very different things. I changed my this answer. about protecting Fable Town. When some asshole murders two of our people, it's my job to bring them down. Then why are you here? You know who murdered them. Georgie. He's dead, isn't he? My point being, the killer has been dealt with. You've won. You really think I'm that stupid? I understand you have an obligation to bring me in. But you can brighten up a little. It's over. So, shall we get going? I'd rather not dawdle. You know, I'm actually looking forward to seeing Miss White again. My previous interactions with her have gone rather well. All right, let's go. Hand over the gun. I think I'd rather hold on to it, if you don't mind. Uh -huh. what do you say? Hey! No. <laughs> I'm sure Miss White will be pleased. Such a reliable pup. I understand why she'd want to keep you around. If I hit him, under it's some police brutality bullshit. Trial in front of your peers. And then I'm the bad guy. <clears throat> I'm not gonna do that. Your punishment will follow. Gotta keep this guy healthy. Because then he gets what he actually deserves. Can't give in to that petty feeling you have where you want to hit him real bad just just for a second. My last cigarette. I hey, man. Know, I know, but we have to do something. Are you fucking kidding me? When is this thing happening? Are we sure he's coming? Yes, you'll have an opportunity to. And I know it just got really exciting and we're taking the crooked man in for trial, but I need to end the episode right now. I have to. I have to because, well... I want to. Anyways, that's going to be it for this video. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys later.